Hi guys, welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for always coming out here. May God bless you all. My people, this one is another one reaching us right now. Hmm. Don't play politics with Namdekano's life. Federal government of Nigeria has been warned. The indigenous people of Biafra, High Pop, has warned that the federal government can play politics with anything they like. But they do, but not with the life of their leader, Namde Kano, whose health is described as deteriorating. The Pro Biafran group said the Department of State Services DSS claimed that the alarm being raised by the IPOP that his leader's health is worsening, is political, is to divert the attention of the public who are already aware that Kano's health condition is failing on a daily basis. The pro Biafran group therefore warned the federal government not to allow Kano to die in detention if it still wants the country, Nigeria, to exist. A statement by its IPOB media and publicity secretary, Ma Parafo, entitled the worsening health of Mazi Namdekano is real and not politics. Urge the DSS to explain why they have refused Mazi Namdekano access to a doctor since the second week of December 2022. And why he has not been allowed to take his drugs according to prescription. The global family and the movement of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, under the leadership and the command of Mazin Namdekano, wishes to draw the attention of the public to the press release from Nigerian DSS dismissing the worsening health of our leader Mazin Namdekano and labeling IPOP's press release as political statement. We want to remind DSS and the public that Mazin Namdekano's deteriorating health is true and cannot be deemed a political statement. The government and their secret police and DSS are very much aware that Mazin Namdekano's health is failing him from their poisoning, denial of adequate medication for his known ailment and torture by means of starvation as he continues to be heard illegally in the DSS solitary confinement. The reason for this is to distract people from the alarm that has been raised on their attention, intention to systematically and conveniently eliminate our leader. The Nigerian government should know by now that IPOP has zero interest in Nigerian politics. The government can play politics with anything but not with the life of our leader, Mazin Namdekano. The DSS should explain why they have refused Mazin Namdekano access to a doctor since the second week of December 2022, and why he has not been allowed to take his drugs according to prescription. It is on record that Mazin Namdekano is very sick, and he is dying slowly in the DSS custody. Solitary, in DSS solitary confinement. IPOP members worldwide and Indigbo will not accept any explanation from anyone if anything happens to him. A word is enough for the why. Nigerian will cease to exist if anything utter what happens to Namdekano. Let nobody say we did not want the Muhammad Buhari led federal government. Hmm. Oh my God. I don't know why Nigerian government is doing this anyway. Maybe they are just trying to execute their plan B, but this will not do anybody any good. In the first place, you wronged this man. Let me just start from the day they invaded this house in Afaruku Ibuku, Omar Yahabia said. You wronged this man by that invention you killed 28 persons those are humans not animals we are killed 
Because the issue on ground, the federal government is the one that escalated everything. Self-determination is not a crime. But all the approach the federal government is using is wrong. Then this man was weeks away by God. A life was spared. That was what led to his parents' death. That one is a part. All this why Nigerian government were busy planning how to capture Nam the Kano in abroad. But we have bandits, we have the leaders of Boko Haram, even those they know their names, they know their local governments, they know their states, they know their communities, they know their sentiments, they know everything about them. But the governments cannot just bring them down. These governments went to Kenya with their first class information and Mazen Namdikano was kidnapped from Kenya to Nigeria because then they speak extraordinary rendition. That art is a kidnapping. No. Namdikano was not brought to Nigeria in due, in due process. So that is why they said Kano was kidnapped from Kenya to Nigeria. They have not still stopped the torture. This man is sick. You cannot even allow him access to his doctors. Then the worst of it all, the court have discharged and acquitted him. The federal government is still keeping him. And DSS is defending themselves that Kano is being well taken care of. What is he doing in your custody, by the way? They have said it, that there will be no Nigeria if anything happens to him. They said it's not a threat, but that is just it. I'm dropping it here. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Thank you.